This 3,600 horsepower beast called the MV Mary Lynn pushes tons of building material up the Missouri River, a shipment stretching close to three football fields long. The tow is 800 feet and uh, it's like a giant sail. It'll, it'll sling you around, so you have to compensate for the wind and the current and, um, and, the, and the position you are in the river. Although the most difficult part about waterway shipping isn't managing the large amount of cargo getting pushed, it's trying to bring freight back on the Missouri River. A large shipment like this wasn't the norm during the past decade due to low water levels. But the Missouri River became robust enough in 2010 to re-energize the waterway shipping industry. In fact, Last year, the owners of the MV Mary Lynn experienced a 34% increase in business. Now, the next step is to keep the momentum going and spark more Missouri waterway infrastructure. There is not a dock available in Kansas City to move products, whether they're agricultural products or equipment products, in and out of Kansas City. Um, St. Joseph has a beautiful, fairly new dock and no equipment to load or unload anything. And that's one of the things we've been doing is talking to other people, talking to Kansas City Port Authority, St. Joe Port Authority, and trying to get infrastructure back in place to handle products. Shipping freight via the Missouri River is cheaper and less harmful to our environment when compared to rail or semi-truck. Plus, some freight simply can't be transported on Missouri highways. As you can tell by the size of the components, it's not really something that you could haul on the highway or on the rail. So had we not had access to the Missouri River, had that company not had access to the Missouri River, they would not have been able to build that facility in that location. A promising economic addition made possible thanks to the Missouri River, a waterway that is once again connecting people, business, and commodities.